can this be the only available room in the entire city? What, is there some kind of convention going on or something? Oh, oh. people are pouring in from everywhere. The new Andrew Lloyd Webber musical is opening. <laughs> oh, Monsieur, wait. Here you go. And please, don't come back until he's done number two. Uh, <laughs> merci, merci. Oh, I cannot believe we're in Paris. Would you look at this room? You know, I think Miss Ellie had this wallpaper in South Fork. <laughs> I tell you, this jet lag is beginning to catch up with me. Oh, I know. I can hardly keep my eyes open. <sighs> yes, well, I'm feeling much better. Really? You look exhausted. Wouldn't want to spoil your stay in Paris. <laughs> no, I'm feeling much better, really. I um, I took a sleep on the plane. Uh, Why didn't you? And miss the lobster caviar and make your own sunday bar? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a shower. Nigel should be here any minute. I thought we'd grab a quick bite at L'Orangerie. Try and talk some sense into him. <laughs> talk him out of that ridiculous nightclub business he's getting. <laughs> Miss Fine, were you going to just sit there and let me take my clothes off? Well, I didn't want to spoil my stay in Paris either. <laughs> oh, that'll be Nigel now. You know, um, I haven't seen my little brother for four years. Actually, I'm feeling a little emotional. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, that's good. We'll go with your feelings. Let it out. Hello, young man. Max. <laughs> Who's this? I say, aren't we lovely? We certainly are. <laughs> I'm Fran. Nigel. Oh, Max, I should have rung up. Am I, um, interrupting? No. No, <laughs> no this, um, this is my nanny. She, uh, she takes care of my children. Oh, yeah. you brought them with you, then. Where, where are they? They're... Uh. in New York. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Nanny, spank, spank. <laughs> no, Nigel, you do not get it at all. Well, I can assure you this woman is not involved with me. Or anyone else, for that matter. Uh, go to the window. I don't think Brussels heard you. <laughs> All right, Nigel, now what is all this ridiculous nonsense about you buying a nightclub? Oh, here comes the lecture. You know, if you put a martini in one hand and father's jewels in the other, you could be mother. <laughs> Don't you think it's time you stopped behaving like an immature child and grew up? I mean, you know nothing about business. Well, what do you know? I used your name and couldn't even get into the Andrew Lloyd Webber show. <laughs> oh, boy, that does it! You do it, you! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, stop it! Use your words! Now, you two are taking a time out. That's all. He started it. Oh, and no TV for you, either. <laughs> now, what's with you? You know, he's only trying to help you. I mean, you're very young, and you've got all this dough, and... What are you, 6'2"? Three. One and a half. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. You have turned into a stuffed shirt. You're boring. And don't bother coming to my club because it doesn't get going till 10, and that's way past your bedtime. <laughs> For your information, I go to bed at 11 <laughs> because I work in the morning. <sighs> I'm sorry, Miss Fine. I'm sorry you had to witness such a dreadful display. Hey, that was a display by you? Try going to Ma's house when two ants each have a bagel and there's only one piece of locks left. <laughs> Let's change the subject. 